So, broadcasting from my phone with my buddy holding it. Uh, so, I volunteer at this uh, community center, and <clears throat> I do it every Sunday for, for four and a half hours. Uh, and this guy comes in, and he'd been coming in for a while. We talked about a lot of stuff. You know, I talked to him for a few hours. You know, he's an old, he's a senior. Um, he asked me where he could stay, and I, you know, tried to help him as best I could or connect him with people. Anyway, but he would come in, and I, you know, hook him up with a cup of coffee, give him some tips, you know, to, so he could get something to eat. But I got, I get tips that, like, uh, basically because I do coffee, and sometimes people put their change in there. And anyway, so I gave him that. Um, cause that's pretty much all I had. But uh, anyways. So, the guy asks, you know, tells me he's kind of hating life, you know, right now, basically his, uh, his vehicle is out of commission, kind of, because his radiator has got a leak, and so he can get from, you know, point A to point B, he lives in a Winnebago, so he's kind of traveling, you know, but seemed like a harmless guy. Anyways, long story short, I, uh, the guy asked me if he can stay back there, in, back where this community center is, and I said, hey, just like I would say with anything, I don't have a problem with it. You can park wherever you want, you know, go for there if you have a, for a night, you know, it's a community center, I don't care, however, I'm just a volunteer. All right, this goes to the uh, no good deed goes unpunished. Well, this guy comes back to the calls. The police called me this morning. I, I, I didn't answer my phone. I was dealing with other stuff, and I didn't even know it was the police. But uh, this guy called me like five times. The police called me, and they want me to give him give permission that he can park back there. But I'm just a volunteer, so of course I can't. And anyways, I called this, the, the older gentleman back. Um, we'll call, his name's John. We won't use any last names. Uh, anyways, so uh, the management at the place, this guy, Parsoon, would... Uh, no last names again. Um, anyways, uh, you know, he's a great guy. And I said, John, you know, you call and talk to Pursuit because I'm still just a volunteer. And I explained this to him, blah, blah, blah. I guess this guy goes in there because um, I just got a call from Pursuit. The guy goes in there and just tells you have to give me permission. And he won't move his van off this community center, his, his Winnebago, sorry, off this community center. And so now this drama ensues. I just found it really funny. Um, and I would still say the same thing, that I don't have a problem if you park back there. I don't. It's not my property. I don't have a problem. I'm not going to call the police about it. Um, you know, it's a community center as far as I'm concerned. Um, but there are some there are some things, and they, they obviously pursue the, the man that's the manager is a wonderful man. Uh, can't do that because he doesn't know it. He can't, you know, this insurance, and then he can't say anything. And I didn't actually give him permission. I just said I'm a volunteer, and I don't care if he parks back there. And I would never say anything. And if if they uh, did harass him, just say, hey, Kurt did. And if it was, you know, somebody who thought the way I did, and you said, hey, Kurt, so I could you know, sit back here that they'd probably just let you slide. But anyways, the police came back, and so now this drama ensues. I'm actually probably waiting for the police to call me or come here uh, to talk to me about it. But you know what? I would still do it again. I would still offer my hand out there. This one backfired on me. I'm hoping that it doesn't, because this guy's obviously probably has some mental issues, and he's a senior, and you know, you want to help these people out. Uh, you know, but he's obviously a little crazy. My buddy's telling me that he wrote, he, he saw on Sunday that he wrote all these permission stickers on his uh, Winnebago that the manager, it's like I gave him the name of the manager, of course, you know, it's a community center. And he wrote this guy's name that he'd give him permission. So he's kind of, uh, you know, he's probably got some mental issues. And uh, I wish him the best. Um, but, you know, you still have to do these things. And uh, no good deed goes unpunished. Well, whatever. It's like I'm not punished. Try to help a guy out. Shit happens. And we just keep doing it. And we just keep doing it every day. And thank you for watching.